during the Second World War, one of the most disgraceful things for a German soldier to do was desert or exhibit cowardice. Hitler would stipulate that any member of the Wehrmacht who was seen to have displayed desertion was to be executed and to be shot by his own men. They would administer hard justice and it was hoped that soldiers would hear of deserters and that these stories would be enough to make Wehrmacht officers and soldiers lay their life down for Hitler's empire. Many of these men had been brainwashed heavily, being younger soldiers who had been forced to join the Hitler Youth at a young age, but there was one incident involving a German soldier who belonged to the 714th Infantry Division in German-occupied Serbia. But this man would refuse to take the life of a number of resistance fighters, and because of this, he was allegedly instead sent to the firing range, and he was executed alongside the enemies of the Germans. Join us today as we look at the execution of the German soldier that refused to fire at the enemy. And remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Joseph Schultz was born in 1909 and he lived in Barman. Little is known about his early life, but it's believed that he was a soldier who then joined the military in the Wehrmacht. But during the Second World War he was a corporal and he was part of the 714th Infantry Division of the Wehrmacht. This division had been formed in May 1941 and it was then transferred to Yugoslavia to be involved in anti-partisan and anti-resistance missions inside the country. They were also part of the security operations inside of Yugoslavia and throughout the Second World War they would be involved in huge anti-partisan raids. The partisans following the German occupation of Yugoslavia rose up and they then moved to the mountainous regions and they caused chaos with the German army. Partisans would conduct sabotage operations and would recruit many more people to their cause, but if the Germans found a partisan, then they would demonstrate brutality to them. Many partisans were arrested and were then tortured and interrogated heavily for information about partisan operations and activities. If someone gave over no information, they would be considered a lost cause, and for this they would be sentenced to death. One young teenager who was condemned and executed for this was Leper Adic, a 17-year-old girl who helped to evacuate wounded partisans from the battlefield and she was then taken to a gallows where she was executed by the Wehrmacht in front of a crowd in shocking scenes. But the 714th Infantry Division continued to conduct acts of terror against the partisans and they wanted the population to fall into line and to not disrupt the Germans. The division was implicated throughout the war in a number of war crimes, especially as the war went on, and these soldiers were used to fighting in rough terrain and in the foothills, as well as being used as shock squads in urban areas. They would fight between the mountains and the plains, and they were known as a Jaeger division or a hunter division, and they were very highly trained. But Joseph Schultz was a member of this division, but during the conflict, little attention was given to the fact he was said to have died during operations in Yugoslavia on the 19th of July 1941. He was recorded in German military circles as dying on duty, but this was allegedly not the case, and his death was an execution which was considered strange and bizarre. However, on the 20th of July 1941, the Germans had collected a group of 16 Yugoslav partisans, and they had been gathered inside of a barracks of a town southeast of Belgrade. The Germans brought these resistance fighters out into the open, and they were then stood against a wall. The executioners were stood with their rifles, and the partisans leaning against the wall were blindfolded before the firing squad shot and executed them. However, following the end of the Second World War, the bodies of these victims were exhumed from a mass grave, but it was said from eyewitnesses that one of the remains of the people executed had a significant amount of German military relics and equipment on their person. Their ID tag had been lost, but it was clear that amongst the executed was a German soldier. There was a memorial then made in 1947 to the name of a Croatian victim named Marcel Masik, and it was said that there was a German soldier executed at the time along with these partisans, and that this German soldier was actually executed for refusing to take part in the execution of the partisans. But then roughly 15 years after the war had come to an end, West German newspapers published images from the date of the executions, and in this they showed a German soldier who was stood walking towards the partisan victims against the wall, and he was too, without a helmet and a belt. 
The Germans were asked to help identify this person, and the photographs were taken by a Wehrmacht unit, and they were then left behind when the unit left to go to the Eastern Front. The newspapers spoke of a defection of a German soldier, but then a member of the Bundestag came forward, and he identified the person in the images as Joseph Schultz. He identified him based on the diary of the commander, Friedrich Stahl, the commander of the 714th Infantry Division. In this he managed to link Schultz to the place of execution, and the story began to come together. A Yugoslav newspaper would claim that Joseph Schultz had in fact been an underground member of the opposition to Hitler, and that he had been found out. But eyewitnesses to the execution also confirmed that a German officer was seen at the time arguing with other Germans, and that this specific man had no insignia on his uniform, and he had been stripped of them. The German officer in charge was furious and outraged, and with this it was Joseph Schultz who was allegedly getting the barrage of abuse. What had emerged during the executions of the partisans was that allegedly Joseph Schultz, while stood opposite the people he was meant to be executing and shooting, he could not do this. He had refused to take part in the firing squad and the execution, and because of this he was found guilty of desertion and cowardice on the spot. He was then screened at by the officer in charge, who then forced him to stand with the condemned, and he was then executed alongside the partisans, before he was buried in a rough grave, and his insignia had been stripped, court-martialing him, and also making his remains difficult to identify, but then his remains were disinterred later. Eyewitnesses also claimed that this occurred, but there was some rejection to the story of Joseph Schultz and his execution. There was a significant study launched in 1972, and a report that looked into Schultz, and it claimed that the soldier in the image, heading towards the partisans ready for the execution, was not him, and they questioned that Schultz had already been allegedly killed when the executions took place. It was claimed that he had been reported dead to Army Command on the 20th of July around 2am, and that this information was then passed to his relatives about this. With this, some historians had claimed that Joseph Schultz was not the man who was executed with the partisans. However, following the war, Joseph Schultz still remained a popular point of debate in Yugoslavia, and there was a memorial created at the execution site, and Joseph Schultz's name was added to the victims of the 16 Yugoslav partisans who had been shot that day. Many believe today that it is Joseph Schultz, but without DNA testing, the legend cannot be put to bed. Films have even been made about this, but the true story of Joseph Schultz is one that needs telling. What happened to him during the fighting against the partisans? He must have also been a very well trained and skilled soldier, but it's very possible that his date of death may have also been ill reported by the German military or command to cover up the execution of a German soldier. But still today, Joseph Schultz's story is one that needs clearing up and sorting out to confirm if he was actually the man who was allegedly, according to the eyewitnesses, executed alongside the partisans. If he was, it would be a remarkable and shocking execution, a German soldier being executed alongside the enemies of his people. But there were accounts during the Second World War of German soldiers being court-martialed and quickly executed for cowardice, desertion and even treason. There were some Germans who refused to execute the enemy, and because of this, they were considered guilty of a medieval crime of treason, and they faced the ultimate punishment. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.